Uh, thanks, guys. I thought um, it was a terrific atmosphere in Haas. You know, we play in the best women's basketball conference in the country. And I thought, you know, our fans showed that today. They wanted to be here for a big opening game. I'm really proud of our players. We talked about toughness um, and, and, and throughout conference, but starting with the first game, being, being a team that never gives in. I thought we saw that tonight. I thought we got production from a lot of places, but um, we, we really wanted our post tandem to dominate. And I, and I think that's what, what happened tonight. And I'm just excited to get the win. And uh, I think the team is really focused now on Sunday um, and figuring out how we, uh, or, or really um, believing how we can um, be a winning team each and every night. Nina, can you talk a little bit about that stretch you had in the second half when you know like you guys were like up only by four and then you just kind of took over and by the end you guys were comfortable again? Like you know, like catching every offensive rebound and everything like that. What kind of took over? That? I mean, I believe in our team so much that that could happen to any one of our players. It wouldn't have been able to get majority of those shots off if Chris didn't get the attention she did, or if TZ wasn't making shots the way she did, and. It actually started off CJ's pass. You know, she was selfless enough to just pass it off and hand it. So it, it's, it goes down to the teammates that I have. Did you guys know Christine could shoot like that? You know, we talked about go home over break and shoot 5,000 threes and come back. You know, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, she's, she's, she's a well-rounded player, right? Obviously, she hasn't taken a lot of threes for us, but has a great shot form, works on it. And the, what we've talked about is just make the right basketball play. And if the right basketball play is dunking on someone or scoring 25 points in the paint, we're going to try to get that. If people are sagging off her, I think, you know, she can keep the defense, defense honest. Um, uh, so we'll take it. You mentioned toughness. Um, Another side of toughness, other than just the physicality, is that UFC kept fighting back and you guys never gave in. Can you talk a little bit about, about that? I mean, this is the Pac-12 conference. This is Cal against USC. You know, um, it's it's there's a lot of respect. You know, but also a healthy rivalry. Um, we never expected them to lay down or walk away. We, we felt like we would have to break them, which I think we did at the, at the critical times. But of course, they're going to compete. They have really good players um, and, and, uh, and care a lot about you know, coming up here and trying to get a win. So we had to you know, have it, use everything in our arsenal to hold them off and, and glad that we were able to do that. One of the things I noticed when looking at USC last night as well preparing for the game is that they had like four players for like 86% of the points. And they didn't have four players for a like Four and a half minutes left. There was that something you were trying to take advantage of, just more bodies in there and take advantage of your superior depth. Was that something you were looking at? Yes. Uh, we talked about you know running in transition and making them tired. We talked about taking advantage of some of the mismatches and understanding that um, you know they don't they don't have a lot of depth and and we do. So you know we, we went eight deep and and the, the people off the bench were very significant. You know if Christine's a little foul trouble and CJ's not able to come in here and hold us steady, we we might not win the game, right? So winning teams are not just about the star players or just about the people scoring all the points. It's about the combinations you have. I and mean, we put uh, Jalen in at the end to knock down free throws, and that's what she did. I mean her she had a really big three in the first half and a big jumper in the second half, took a huge charge. Like our, our depth is important to what we do. Um, and everyone's role, I think, is really important. And, and we did focus on that. Can you talk a little bit about your other senior, you know, Michaela gave you such a burst at the beginning of the game. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, I think this is her third, third game in a row with, you know, double digit points. And it's just coming out of like easy stuff that, that we know she can do. Um, she can get to the rim. She can make a jumper. And I think you know, our seniors and really our veteran, like they're playing like, veterans are playing like seniors, like that it really matters, every possession. And when she has that intensity level, she can do a lot of things. She's fine to have eight assists and no points, right? Or, or whatever it might be. But if she can be another scorer for us, it makes us, you know, kind of have another dimension. I mean, they should focus on, on UCLA when we get into film tomorrow. Like, coaches, we have to think about it all the time. It's our job. We love it. But I, I like them to be kids. Like, you know, Christine should go hang out with her sister who, you know, who's here visiting. Like, Nina should be with her family. They should shake it off, you know, in, enjoy it, and then come, come to work ready to go at 12 o'clock. And I think then we're very specific with our messages, and, and they'll lock into those messages as long as, you know, they have time to be college students on winter break, which is fun. Um, two things, I think. First is you kind of have to get your sea legs with Pac-12 play. Like they're they're quick, you know, and they're they're aggressive. So I think our players just kind of settled in a little bit. But we also mixed up, you know, we've been mixing up our zone defenses. So when they got comfortable with one, we went to another, and that was effective. Um, so I think that was part of it. Christine, there's always 
so much focus on you as opposed to, is, is the three point shooting, is that actually something that you, you think you can, you can do as a, a means to get away from all that tension inside? Well, I'm definitely going to focus on posting up, but if like the shot is there, I'm going to take it. And if it's a pass to my teammate, I'm going to pass it to my teammate. I'm just going to make the best read possible for us to continue to win. I guess you guys probably won't be shocked by this, but that sounds like Stanford beat UCLA tonight. Does that change anything for you guys? How do you guys approach Sunday's game? It doesn't change it at all. I mean, we, we I don't know if you've been around women's basketball at all, you know that a Tara Vanderveer coach team winning a game is never a surprise. Um, but the conference is really good and competitive and we want to try to sweep the weekend. We have to focus on what our mission is. And you know, back when we did our goals and we talked about stuff, I mean, I think Christine was actually the one who said, each weekend we go into, let's talk about winning the weekend, sweeping the weekend. So our focus becomes that. And that would be the case whether UCLA was coming in with a win or a loss. But um, you know, we take a lot of pride in being the Bay Area and basketball you know, central over here. And um, you know, we'll try and do our part on Sunday. It might be a silly question, but I mean, uh, you know, Christina Gauss commands all the attention in the paint and everything, and she's kind of the main focal point. But how nice is it to have a really good post player to pair with for any dates that can come in and do what she just did tonight? Yeah, I mean, that's that's what will make us elite, right? We've we've talked about it. Like, Christina has put up like video game numbers for two years, and she would be the first to say we haven't won enough games, right? So, um, I mean, I think the the efficiency level and like the the nuance of her game has really improved. I mean, she's she's passing out of double teams to, to, for baskets to other people, or just to move the ball, right? Or stretching the defense, or or whatever it might be. You know, being a really good defender. That's going to make our team better overall. And all the best teams in the country, if you can stop one player and stop the team, you're not going to be as good as you need to be, right? So we we talk about the other post player being a weapon, or you know, like Michaela getting out in transition because if you know if the, the, if the transition defense focuses on Christine or Nina, like getting our guards involved, like that's as a team what we believe we can do. And it might be Nina one night, it might be AT another night, it, it might be Michaela, it might be someone off the bench, and that's what we're trying to get to is is a nationally elite team, and you need some star players, um, but you also need people who are stars in their role, and I think we're growing into that. I mean, I, I said it in Pacific. I said I think like one of the differences between this year and the previous years is just how much fun we're having playing together. You know, even on and off the court, we're hanging out, we're talking, and it's we're, we're shooting in the gym. We are all come in the gym with TZ and at least five of my other players are in there. You know, it's just so much fun playing together right now. Oh, I agree. Like. Um, I think the season is going to be very special and like um, conference play is very tough and you just have to have fun. If you're not having fun, then it's just going to be a roller coaster of emotion. So I just want to keep like keep our hopes high because I think that we are going to like shock a lot of people in this conference. All right, we'll end it on that. Thank you guys for coming. Thanks.